Now, you might think I'm mad to be talking about Royal Ascot in early February. And yes, I am mad. I do love the flat. It's February the 7th, and it's just been announced that the 2023 1,000 guineas winner, Morge, has been retired. And that made me think, what the hell is going to run in the Queen Anne at Royal Ascot in June 2024? Are there any older milers left in the UK and Ireland? Honestly, because if you look last year, there was 12 horses ran in the Queen Anne last year over a straight mile for four-year-olds and older at Royal Ascot, the first race of the Royal Meeting. Seven of them have been retired. First, triple time, retired. Inspiral was second, retired. Modern Games, Chindit, Angel Blur, Native Trail, Muta Sarbeck and Luceo, retired. Seven of the 12 runners have retired. Third, Light Infantry has been sold to Australia and he's had his name changed. Berks of Shadow and Cashew were big prices in that race last year, haven't ran since the height of the summer in 2023 and may or may not be retired for all I know. So I think that leaves us with just one horse that ran in the 2023 Queen Anne that is still in training in the UK. And that horse is eight-year-old Pogo, who was 125 to one for the Queen Anne last year and hasn't won a race of any description since October 2022. Elsewhere, the 2023's best three-year-old miler, Paddington, he's now at stud, as is the 2000 Guineas winner, Chaldean, he's at stud. The best three-year-old filly is also in the breeding shed. That's Tahira. She was second behind Morge in the 1,000 guineas, won the Irish 1,000 guineas, etc. A very, very good horse in her own right. But as always, or as usual with the Olga Khan, they do retire their three-year-old fillies at the end of that season. So what milers are racing in 2024? That's the question. For the first time in a while, it could actually be the French that lead the way. They have Big Rock and Factor Cheval. Both set to continue their careers on the track. Um, and yeah, I honestly thought Big Rock was absolutely sensational in the QE2 on Champions Day at the back end of last season at Ascot in October. A performance that I thought deserved much more credit than it got at the time and since, to be honest. Yes, it was bad ground at Ascot that day in October. That often does happen, let's be fair. But... A couple disappointed in behind, chiefly Paddington, but Big Rock won by six lengths, for God's sake, from the front, just dominating the race. Tahira was in third, a very, very good horse in her own right. And that makes the form, you know, gives the form some substance, in my opinion. And this Big Rock absolutely smashed Tahira. Um, really, really did. I thought he was mega, mega impressive. Winning by six lengths is going to be coming back in 2024. And let's have it right. That performance. Performance on Champions Day from Big Rock was by no means a fluke. He had a stellar season. Big Rock was second in the French Derby behind eventual arc winner and European champion Ace Impact. He was second in the Group 1 Mulan at Longchamp as well in, I think that was September last year. So yeah, really, really good season for Big Rock. I mean, Royal Ascot fast ground might be a problem for any French horse really, but Big Rock but it, it was it would have been decent enough ground on French Derby Day. Again, where I mentioned earlier, where he was second. They never let it get too quick on day one of the Royal Meeting, let's be honest. Big Rock would be a massive anti-post favourite in the Queen Anne. If I was pricing it up, that's without any doubt. I mean, there's no there's no one pricing it up at the moment. I mean, we are five months away. But yeah, he would be, he would be a big favourite for me. There is a chance that they might try my uh, 10 furlongs with Big Rock um, this year. They tried it last year in the aforementioned French Derby where we, he was a very good second. Um, but I think this Queen Anne market or this older miler division or the miling division generally in Europe is, is absolutely wide open for the reasons that I mentioned earlier with so many horses retired. Factor Cheval was six lengths second behind Big Rock at Ascot in that champ in that QE2 stakes. And it should be that should be mentioned as a very good performance. This factor Cheval posted three very solid efforts at the back end of last season without actually winning. He was second in the Sussex Stakes behind Paddington, and then he was third in the Mulan. Um, Big Rock was second in that race, and then he was second again in the QE2. All group, group ones, because it's soft, so unlikely to enjoy day one of Royal Ascot ground in the height of the summer. But with such a lack of potential opposition, he may well be uh, heading over to Berkshire in the height of the summer. Aldari and Charin might be two UK-based milers still hanging around, but we really are starting to scrape the barrel a little bit at this point. Neither Aldari or Sharon have been anywhere near winning a Group 1 to this point in both of their careers, and both of them do prefer it on softer ground. 
the way it's looking at this very, very early stage, and forgive me, I am looking a long way ahead, but I do love the flat. This looks right for an international challenge. I mean, we've had in previous years, we've had uh, Tepin as running this race, Abel Friend from Hong Kong. We have had interest from, from around the world in this race, but maybe not too much very recently in the last couple of years. Does Hong Kong star Golden 60 fancy it? And many, many times over Group One winner over in Hong Kong and the far and the Far East. Um, would would they be would they be fancying it? I mean, wouldn't that be something if Golden 60 would be to turn up? Unlikely at this stage. But yeah, there's five months to go. There's really plenty, plenty to look forward to. And uh, yeah, we're already looking forward to the flat season here on Races Now. But do keep it um, here on the channel. We've got plenty of Cheltenham content. We've got Newbury coming up this weekend as well. So thanks for watching and we'll be back soon here.